yoink. Let's see how my hair looks. Anyway. Hello. Hey, what's up? It's Mason, and today you're witnessing, watching, viewing a, another Fall Favorites video. I think the last Favorites video I did was during the summer or back in February. I can't remember, but I know it's been a very long time, so I figured why not update you on what I'm liking currently? Oh, before anything, this is going up on Sunday, the day before Cyber Monday. So if you're watching this then, I have a Black Friday slash Cyber Sunday, Cyber Sunday, wow. Ugh. Every time I go to speak, it's like I have to burp. If you're watching this right now during the Black Friday uh, weekend before uh, Cyber Monday, right now on my website, masonabreart.com, I have a discount code for 30% off on my stickers and my prints. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Mason Avery with two Y's. There I do art. That's where you can find me uh, posting all of my art that I do. If you don't already know, I'm also self-publishing my own art design this upcoming spring called Primary Mellow Loser. There's a lot going on. I'm just trying to get it out right now. Also in the spring, I will have an EP, a project EP coming out with uh, my good friend CBB. That's what he goes by and his YouTube channel is CBB movies so if you want to check him out go ahead and do it we have already released one single called red it's on SoundCloud now I'll link in the description but it will be on iTunes Spotify you name all streaming music services it'll be out next Friday on there I produced the song he did the vocals so I'm very excited for this whole thing I've got a lot going on with the, in these next few months so once again just to reiterate my Instagram Mason Avery with two Y's. We're releasing music. I'm releasing an art book. The Black Friday sale. Use code Black Friday. 30% off all prints and stickers. And it'll be through until Cyber Monday. So get those prints and stickers if you want some art of mine. And I'll be shipping them out within this next week. So go go get uh, free shipping and 30% off all products. I think the tradition within my favorites videos are always starting off with music. So today what I'm gonna be starting off with is the music section. Woo. So first on the list, as you probably have already guessed, is Conan Gray's Sunset Season EP. Conan has been mentioned several times throughout my channel period. He's a big inspiration for me. Not my sole inspiration, but I mean, He's, he's a cool dude. I relate to a lot of the things he's went through in life, his music, and I've been there since maybe he had 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> it's weird seeing him grow so fast within a year or two years. He's almost hit a million, and he just released his EP, Sunset Season, which has a remastered version of Idle Town, Generation Y, Crush Culture, Greek God, and then Lookalike. Oh, so good. I'm going to be seeing him on his second leg of the Sunset shows and I'll be going to the Atlanta show. So if you're going there, you can possibly meet me. Yeah, if you want to see me, I don't mind meeting people. He is very nostalgic prone, if that makes sense. He makes music that's very nostalgic for a lot of people and Idle Town is the main one that just makes me think this is this is the one, this is the one I relate to the most. It's because I live in a small town it's just like, wow, there's nothing to do here. I, I need to get out as soon as possible. I'm um, graduating, it's like the kids are getting antsy, they're ready to leave. The EP just came out November 16th, so it's very new. Technically only got new two songs because he released Gen Y and uh, Crush Culture as singles. So Lookalike and Greek God are still slow nice bops i really like them his sound is a lot of pop mixed in with vocal ambience and what i mean by ambience is like it's very soothing vocal wise he likes to layer his vocals a lot very interesting how he does that definitely recommend checking him out favorites off this ep are greek god gen y and idle town even though I love each and every song, those are the ones I relate most to and I have a special connection with. That's just the, the songs I gravitate towards. Next on the list is Jack Stauber's Micropop. Jack Stauber is a very unique YouTuber I came across probably a month ago. He makes short little weird animations with music. It's just the way he does, it's like shorts. It's like little animation shorts with the music on top. And then later on what he'll do if like the short does good enough, he'll take the music portion of that and turn it into a full song in very 80s like video game-ish. 
if that makes sense. This music is also very nostalgic in the sense of the uh, filters he uses whenever he sings and the instrumentals. His animations are very weird and bone chilling and that's just his style. I really appreciate him for being one of the unique YouTubers that are being brought up. My favorite songs by him currently are Two Time, Inchman, and then Deadweight. Inchman's probably my favorite out of all of those because the way it starts off. I just see that if he ever goes on tour, Inchman's probably going to be his starting song. Jack Stauber's great. Also recommend him if you like watching weird animations. It's like mini music videos. <laughs> so some honorable mentions are When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish, great music video. Better Friends by Between Friends. Pet Cheetah by 21 Pilots. You can watch my Bandito tour vlog here. I've always split these videos into like three sections mainly. So the next section is clothing. The first thing I'll go ahead and do since I'm already wearing it is this black plain sweater. Um, I never wear sweaters mainly because I'm self-conscious and I like to have something with a little bit of like a neck. That's why I wear collared shirts. But this is very comfy and it's very stylish. It goes with a little bit of everything because it's black. Anyway, I like it and it's just comfy and I wear it around the house and stuff. Yeah, I usually wear something under it since it's a little colder outside. So next on the clothing list is this light blue jacket. I think I've mentioned this in the summer favorites video and I just like it. It makes me feel like a little kid every time I wear it because it's super huge on me. Uh, the color of the coat is also very aesthetic and fitting for me, so I just like it whenever it's raining outside and I just, it just makes me feel small. I like, I like clothing that makes me feel small, but then again, I just, I, in real life, I look huge. <laughs> so the next thing are these Fila Disruptor 2s. They're very chunky and I like the look of a chunky shoe. They fit me very well and I can just slide them on as like a tennis shoe. They're very white so you have to keep them up and clean if you want to keep them white. I've cleaned these twice already and they're already like a little bit of uh, markings on the front. Anyway, I like to keep them clean as possible and they're just like a dad shoe. I gravitate towards dad clothes. I mean, you look at this and tell me you just don't think of like a dad. <laughs> think of this, the jagged bottoms and just the overall chunkiness. I like the shoe a lot and they're very inexpensive as well. I only paid $60 for these from Amazon. So recommend getting these shoes. Be like a very chunky white shoe. Last thing on the clothing list is this dad jacket looking thing. It's a uh, navy green and then navy blue. I like this a lot because it's one, very warm. Two, the colors aren't very bright. They're muted and it's not very attention seeking. And then it has the big collar on it. 80s-ish, I guess. But a lot of the clothes um, I've mentioned already, except for the Fila's, I have gotten either from this sweater, like I got from Walmart, and then the two jackets I got from Goodwill. Just, I recommend thrifting, period, because, I mean, you're still getting great looking things for at a very low price, and it's very affordable, so go thrifting. So the last section is the lifestyle section. Okay, so for the first thing on the lifestyle section, is a Netflix show called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. This is the, the best show for those dark and demonic plot lovers. It is so good, but I'm not too big into like the dark plot thing, but it is so, it's such a good show. Like props to them just for having a great plot overall. It has a great storyline, a great background, and it's a great spinoff from the Sabrina the Teenage Witch series, which is, this is very, very different from that television sitcom series. They have already finished and released season one. They're filming season two right now. They could have finished it already, but I cannot wait for season two. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like, I really hope they continue this series for a very long time. It is also set in the Riverdale universe, which they mentioned Riverdale in this series, and that interests me. So anyway, if you don't like dark and demonic stuff like Satanism and are very sensitive to that type of thing, don't watch this, it's not for you. But if you're interested in it for the plot, definitely watch, it, it is, is, it's really good. Next on the list are AirPods, if I can find them. AirPods, I got these for my birthday. 
and thank you phone for buzzing. The case is definitely a lot smaller than I thought, like these fit in the palm of my hand, that's how small they are. They're very comfortable to wear, I like them a lot. The charging case is magnetic. They're not the best quality I've ever heard, but they're definitely not the worst. I would say they're a step up from the regular EarPods, like Apple provides them with your phone and stuff. I do like them because they fit in your ear well, they're stylish. Also, here's a little paradox. A lot of people said these things looked ugly. I think the whole thing of like a toothbrush, that was a meme. But now everyone is saying like, oh, they're so stylish. Oh, they're so fashionable. And this is Apple's way of doing things. Put out products that you would think look ugly and then the next minute they're like, oh, this is more of a fashion statement. That's a lot of things with Apple. They just put things out as more of a, a statement than an actual product. I like them a lot. I've always been a huge Apple fan. I've always stuck to Apple. These are really great and I would recommend them if you have the money. They run at 160, which this is why I'm like, I think I should have got a little better sound quality out of these, but I do like them a lot and there's just something to have. I use them mainly whenever I'm editing and they're very discreet. That's what I like about them too. They're not like big, huge headphones that you're wearing over your ears or something like that. So get them if you want them. Don't let anybody uh, discourage you from getting them. They're, they're okay. The very last thing, but definitely not the least, is something I sold my iPad Pro for. If you remember watching my digital sketchbook tour, I did everything like my digital art on Procreate, which is an iPad app. So I sold my iPad, which means I can't do as much art, but I got a MacBook Pro. It has a blue case on it right now. I love this thing very much. It's very dear to me. I still do art on this with a graphics tablet. I am making the design on this currently. Uh, I edit videos with this. I do homework. And I just needed a computer for school whenever I go to college to help me edit and overall growth. An iPad couldn't really do that for me, so it's a 2014 MacBook Pro. I ended up not getting a newer one because one, that's hecka expensive and I don't have that kind of money. And two, I wanted all the ports without having to spend the extra money on like dongles and things like that. And these have a headphone jack and whenever I'm making music content, I need things for like a headphone jack and stuff. Anyway, it's just less expensive and this thing's very small. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really starting to be on a schedule now, as you can tell throughout since August, I think, or since the summer, I've pretty much been on a, a pretty steady schedule. I've been uploading more on my Instagram with art. I'm trying to do more art as school starts to end. I'm graduating early, so I have more time to do videos and do art and things like that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next week with some type of video. <laughs> I have how many videos left to this year? I think I have roughly five videos left for this year. And the goal next year is to like a video every week at least. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Um, yeah. Bye.